Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about components of data communication under the topic data communication and computer networks. There are five components of data communication. First component is message, second component is sender, third component is receiver, fourth component is transmission medium, fifth component is protocol. So without using these five components, you cannot communicate. So we'll see these components one by one. So first components of communication is message. Message is information to be communicated. For example, on the WhatsApp, if I want to communicate with my friend, I have to send the message. So message can be in the form of text like hello, how are you like this. So text is considered as one type of message. Then message also can be a number. You can share a number with your friend. So number is also one type of a message. Then you can share pictures or images with your friends. So that is also called as one form of message. You can also share a audio clip with your friend. So that is also a form of a message. You can also share a video with your friends, video clips. That is also a form of message. So all these are forms of messages. So it is a information to be communicated. So message, uh, you can also send it as a text. You can send the message. Uh, you can send number as a message. You can send the pictures as a message. You can send the audio clip as a message or you can send the video also as a message. So these are all uh, different types of message forms. So this is the first component of data communication. Then component two is sender. Sender is the device that sends the data message in computer networks. Now device can be a computer system, desktop computer through which you can send the message. You can use a laptop to send the message. You can use the mobile phone to send your message. You can use the telephone to send your message. You can use the video camera also as a sender. So these are all different types of devices which can be used as a sender okay so sender is a device that sends the data message in computer network and data communication so these all the electronic devices you can use to send your message so sender is the source who sends the message next component is receiver receiver receives the message that is being sent by sender now receiver can be a computer device it can be a laptop receiver can be a mobile phone it can be a telephone it can be a video camera so these are the electronic devices there are some more electronic devices which you can consider as a receiver you can receive the data so computer can receive the data laptop can receive the data mobile phones can receive the data telephone can receive the data video camera can also receive data so receiver is the device that receives the data message fourth component of data communication is transmission medium transmission medium is the physical path by which a message travels from sender to receiver. It is the physical path used by the devices to send the data from one device to another. Examples of transmission media are twisted pair cable which are used in telephones. In telephone communication you use twisted pair cable. So this is one of the transmission medium. It looks like this. Then coaxial cable which is used in television cable TV. So cable for another word for cable is wire. So you use a coaxial cable in the television, in our television system TVs. So this is also one type of transmission medium. Then fiber optic cable. You can take the broadband connection at home using this fiber optic cable. So it looks like this. It is also a transmission medium which sends the data from sender to receiver device. Then you can send the data using radio views. It is a wireless transmission medium without using wire all these first three twisted pair wire coaxial cable and fiber optic are wired transmission medium they are wires whereas radio waves are not wires they are wireless transmission medium through waves the data is transmitted from sender to receiver device so these are the transmission medium which are used to send the data from sender to receiver device they are like a physical path or you can say the road to go from source to destination last component of data communication is protocols another word for protocol is rules whenever the data communication happens between sender and receiver there are some 
rules followed in data communication and computer networks so it is a set of rules that govern data communication because of these rules only data communication happens between the sender and receiver it represents an agreement between the communicating devices that is between the sender device and the receiver device without a protocol two devices may be connected you can connect the devices but they won't be able to communicate so protocol is very important component of data communication example in real life you can consider a person speaking french cannot be understood by a person speaks only japanese so you can take this example the rule is followed whoever is speaking in french the receiver also should know the french so person who is sending the message in french language receiver also should receive the message in the french language otherwise they won't be able to communicate so protocol allows us to do this make sure the sender and receiver can communicate properly without any issue so these are the five components of data communication thank you